Whoa, very quickly guys, before we begin, within this video, we go over top five or six pieces of news of the day. As I was editing this, I noticed within one of these articles from one of these very popular crypto news sites, within one of these articles, there is a scam listed at the bottom of one of these articles. And I only noticed this as I was editing. So as we go through this, see if you can spot the scam that they're advertising. I didn't have a chance to call oh, you. you. see the scam? You didn't see what was going on? Well, there's no way to determine that. Yes, Sam. there is an infallible way. They won. And then later in this video, we're going to talk about exactly what this is. And I didn't even notice it until I was in the editing process. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. Of course, the reason you subscribe to our channel is because I keep you updated on everything you need to know going on in the space today. 10-minute video, usually, you know, short, sweet, to the point. And if you appreciate that, hit the like button. Hit the like button because Bitcoin is pumping. And while everybody else sleeps on this, you and me are in tune with this and can kind of see in which direction cryptocurrency is headed. Binance has officially confirmed it will be buying coinmarketcap.com. Now, what I found most interesting about this was what they're planning to do with coinmarketcap. So real quick, the quick takeaway is that Binance has confirmed that it's acquiring coinmarketcap after the block first reported the deal on Tuesday. A source with knowledge of the deal told the block that it is primarily in the form of equity as well as BNB tokens. That's interesting. What I found most interesting was this, the fact that several employees at Binance told the block that the firm was considering a significant change in CoinMarketCap's business model, shifting away from an, uh, from an ad-based model to a subscription model, which will then charge exchanges to be included on the site. The employees who divulged this asked to remain anonymous, but in a tweet, CoinMarketCap said that it will, quote, continue to run as an independent business entity. Binance cannot make any changes in our business model unilaterally. So moving on to our next story, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, also has just went on record saying that cryptocurrency boom will spawn millions of tokens. This I found really interesting. The Coinbase CEO says he's taking a Google or Amazon approach to distinguishing solid projects and tokens from those with a low value that could tarnish the entire industry. In an Ask Me Anything session for Coinbase Pro on YouTube, Armstrong responds to a question about why he decided to open the leading cryptocurrency exchange, i.e. Coinbase, to more than just Bitcoin and how he intends to spot low quality coins and keep them out of the mix. So for those who don't know, when Coinbase was originally started, it was just Bitcoin. It was just Bitcoin for quite some time. Um, a quote from Brian Armstrong is, Coinbase started and we we're just Bitcoin. And there was really part of me that was hoping from a simplicity and product point of view, I was like, I really just hope that everything is going to be Bitcoin because then we don't have to give people this idea of choosing different ones or switching between them. But after input from the customers, the Bitcoin only model changed. We'd always go talk to our customers and we'd see what they want. And it became clear at a certain point that more and more of them wanted to use Ethereum, wanted to invest in Ethereum. We kind of resisted for a while, but then we were like, all right, well, let's put the second one in there. Then there was a third, and then there was a fourth, and now it's getting into this place where I don't know how many, and if we fast forward five years, I'm not sure how many protocols there's going to be globally used that might end up being like fiat currencies, where there are five or six major ones and a whole bunch of minor ones, but I do think there will be millions of tokens. There could be a token for every company, every side project, every GitHub repo, every nonprofit. So I think that ship has sailed at this point. We're going to be in a world with many, many tokens. How do we add the ones that don't tarnish the brand or the whole industry? Because there are a lot of projects that are probably just outright scams. That's not good for anybody. So here's the way I think about this now. I think about it a lot like Google or Amazon. 
Armstrong says the general idea is to list everything that's not a scam or harmful to people while also giving traders and investors the tools to evaluate different tokens and coins. A good example is Amazon. There might be a product on there that has two out of five stars, and you can choose whether or not you want to buy it. But if it's not like a fraudulent project, product or something, they're not actually going to remove it, right? Similarly, Google, they're going to index the whole web, but they're not going to try and tell you what you should or should not look at or use on the internet unless they think it's really dangerous. Uh, they just think it's low quality. They might rank it lower or give it a lower rating. So that's, I think, the world we're moving to with Coinbase. And hopefully that is the best of both worlds. So Brian Armstrong is betting on a future with millions and millions of cryptocurrencies. So did you notice the scam? I only noticed it as I was editing it. It's at the bottom of this Daily Hodel article talking about a recent interview with Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, and they link that interview at the bottom of this page. But what the hell? 5,000 Bitcoin giveaway? This looks like one uh, of the for Coinbase. This looks like one of those scams, right? Uh, for Coin if we look at it, this is one of those scams. Send me Bitcoin, I'll send you Bitcoin back. Um, Coinbase Pro, as if it has 2.1 million subscribers. Um, yeah, this is a this is a scam, right? Are we all seeing this? This scam? Daily Hodel? What the hell are you doing? Call you. you see the scam? You didn't see what was going on? Well, there's no what should we do about this, guys? Let me know in the comments below. This is the other point of view. There are some people that think it's just Bitcoin, including Rich Dad, Poor Dad author. He just called Bitcoin the people's money. I found this really interesting. Robert Kiyosaki, the best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is the latest to weigh in on the topic as he encouraged his followers on Twitter, save your money via Bitcoin instead of fiat currencies. Kiyosaki, who recently started a series of financial lessons on how to stay free from the financial crisis, made this known today while describing Bitcoin, the most valuable cryptocurrency, as the people's money. He urged his followers to adopt the digital currency due to the many benefits it offers. So this was the exact tweet. Lesson five, save money. Are you nuts? Why save money when the QE Fed counterfeiting is printing trillions of fake dollars, billions a month? Why save when ZERP, zero interest policy, pays losers zero? Save gold, which is God's money, or save Bitcoin, which is the people's money. So everybody like this right now, if you want to head on over, give it a like. You know, this really gets the information out there. But he described Bitcoin as the people's money. Since the inception of Bitcoin, it has been adopted by both individuals and major organizations globally as a medium of settlement and a store of value. You know this. Even though the cryptocurrency is yet to get the massive popularity it deserves, Bitcoin is gradually becoming a household name as more and more people keep adopting it, using it, holding it, talking about it due to the potential of a possible price soar and the fact that it is harder money. This is not the first time Kiyosaki will be speaking about Bitcoin. Back in 2019, he noted that the leading cryptocurrency is giving financial institutions a run for their money and that there is no limit to what Bitcoin can achieve. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. It's, you know, seems to me that more and more people are waking up to the fact that Bitcoin is still here. It is still censorship resistant. And, you know, the fact that we're seeing all this money getting printed, people overuse the meme. Bitcoin fixes this all the time. Well, this is actually something that Bitcoin fixes, this endless money printing. And that is it for me today, my friends. My name is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. Give this video a like, give this video a like, support the channel, and Bitcoin going back, a little bit of a dip, but what we are seeing is a series of higher lows, and we just saw a higher high. So, things are looking bright.
That the Chinese government out in Beijing Cryptocurrency, it's a real thing Bitcoin and Ethereum If you got a lot of that, you're a wealthy man But if you go to the Republic of China Get a little coin out, yeah it's a shiner See all the sunlight reflect off the currency They're not doing that well though currently A trade war coming on between here and China Yeah the White House in fear saying Oh God, yeah we got those tariffs Gotta keep the money in that balance If you don't study it fiscally There's no laughs in here, it's a risk for me but